Man, so January 1, International Follow-Up Day. Most people are still in bed sleeping. We're out here prospecting. Hit almost 400 contacts throughout all of our dials together as a team. Five appointments set. Guys, it's gonna be a killer year. We encourage you guys to start prospecting as well and find the activities that are actually gonna help you guys grow your business. I know our team's absolutely crushing it. Uh, we had our coffee, had our mimosas, had our cereal for the day. We had to get our Wheaties on so we could get our Flex on. And um, I know one listening appointment right now that we're attending, he'll be there in like literally five minutes. Uh, Erica set two, I set a couple, Jake set another one. Uh, Jake's got pretty much almost lay down. Let's knock on some wood. And then Erica had one that the guy was like pretty much signed me up on the spot. So great day. We got 17 plus nurtures, five appointments minimum set up, and we're still calling. Make 2018 great. Make 2019 great. Not 18. 18 is gone, sucker. <laughs> Jake called me out on that one. You want to zoom in on that? What's that say? Get it done or get shit done. It's your pick. So one thing that we're really focusing on, we actually started our 2019 about six weeks ago. Like we've all been hustling and bustling on making sure that 2019 was going to be an epic year. But I challenge all the agents to go out and, and write down 100 goals that they want to accomplish in 2019 and share them as a team so that they can not only vocalize those, embody those goals, but also have accountability. So, you know, three months into the year, Erica has accountability from all the other agents and, and, and all the other agents have accountability from everyone else so that they can not only see it, believe it, but also have accountability from their own peers to make sure that they are crushing those goals. I'm gonna have them share a few with you. One of my goals for 2019 is to travel outside the country. Uh, oftentimes we also get, we get trapped in one small environment, whether it be a city, a state, or even a country. Sometimes you just need to travel and see what's out there. It often makes you feel thankful for what you have back home. My second goal is gonna be fitness. Um, I, I was able uh, in 2018 to be really consistent on the business aspect of my life. Really took my health for a, a, a spiral, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. So my goal in 2019 is to have consistency in my life as far as fitness goes, just as much as I have in business. So a few of my goals for 2019 are to kind of get back to what's most important to me. I work a whole lot now and I definitely still am going to maintain that focus. However, I really need to make time for myself as well and my interests, like they can't just fall off the map. So um, I'm a big time runner. I used to do um, a lot of different 5Ks and contribute to multiple different organizations in terms of time and running and taking my health to contribute to something that can help someone else who um, needs more charitable donations and, and contributing the running fees towards that. So I'm going to travel more by doing more destination races. Uh, I really want to see the West Coast, so I'm trying to get into a lottery to run a really big race out in California and then also contribute more to real estate goals as well in terms of um, dabbling more in listings and not just working only on the buy side. So two of my biggest goals for the year, I want to read 20 books throughout the entire year uh, to elevate my mind. Um, self-develop and, and the second one I want to travel more I want to get out and see more parts of the world so my two goals for 2019 are pretty cut and dry in 2019 I want to buy my time back and what I mean by that is I spent a lot of time working and not reflecting and not spending time with my, my significant other and buying that time down to actually live a life by design versus slaving for the work um, and my second goal is to continue to elevate our team as a whole. My goal is to develop leaders within the team. So our goal as a total is to do 300 transactions. And what my, what my most important focus on in 2019 is to elevate everyone else to where they can lead other people as well. That's my goals.